today I'm going to uh, explain you how to configure Palo Alto Global Protect or the Remote Access VPN using certificate based authentication. Uh, in our previous demonstration, we used uh, Active Directory integration in order to do the authentication. So, here uh, let me explain. Uh, here uh, we have to go to firewall. So, actually, uh, when we when we trying to log into this uh, uh, Global Protect portal, we are getting uh, prompted for the username and the password but here what we are going to use uh, use is a uh, client certificate so initially let me go to device tab and here uh, we have this uh, CA certificate that we previously created and but we have to create a separate certificate for each and every user so using that certificate actually we can authenticate users into the global protect so let me explain the process so the initial thing is you have to uh, generate a certificate for the user let's say uh, uh, let's say user saga saga certificate so then the common name because actually in uh, certificate based authentication we have to use uh, the username within this common name section so I'm using uh, saga uh, let's say 10 to saga let's say underscore so this is the username that we are going to use so that this is the common name section for this uh, certificate now uh, let me select the ca certificate because we are going to sign this certificate using this ca certificate which is uh, we created uh, within the firewall so then that's it actually we do not have to you know select anything other than that so let me generate the certificate okay certificate has been generated so then uh, let me go to uh, you know certificate profile section actually we have to create a certificate profile so let me add the certificate profile uh, gp uh, let's say cert uh, profile so here we have to select the username field so that is a subject name because actually we use uh, that uh, thing within our certificate generation so let me showcase again let me go to certificates uh, when we when we create so what we did was uh, we, we generated the certificate and we put a uh, set common name so we put the username of the user uh, into this field so that's what uh, mentioned in the certificate profile so let me put uh, let's say cert prof uh, cert prof okay here username field should be the subject okay so then let me select the CA certificate which is uh, within the firewall this is the CA certificate let me click ok uh, now we have this uh, you know things configured that is totally fine for us let me click ok ok so then uh, what I had to do is I had to go to uh, network tab and I had to go to global protect portals and let me select the portal and let me go to authentication here currently we have this uh, previously configured authentication profile actually this is a uh, uh, the Active Directory is being used for this authentication so let me remove it because actually here we are going to use a uh, certificate based authentication so what I had to do is I had to go to certificate profiles and I had to select the certificate profile I just created that's it okay then let me go to gateways because we have to provide authentication uh, method to gateway as well so let me remove this and let me select the certificate profile okay now we are totally fine so what what I'm going to do is I'm going to just to commit these uh, changes to the firewall. So then I'm trying to log into the uh, Global Protect portal, but you know the thing is actually actually I should not be able to log in because actually I need to export that certificate uh, certificate for the user and I have to import that certificate into this user's personal certificate store. So I'll show you how to import it. Uh, let me click uh, wait for the commit operation. So it's uh, almost done. okay so then uh, let me go to global protect agent and let me try to connect see a valid client certificate is required for authentication if the issue uh, if the issue persists contact your administrator so so it says that uh, in order to authenticate uh, the this uh, agent needs a client certificate so then what i have to do is i have to go to device tab and i have to go to certificates and i can export this certificate for this user so then i'm um, clicking export certificates and here I have to select this PKCS12. So it's a certificate store. Actually, we have the certificate and the private key. So let me put a password because we have to uh, make it password protected. Uh, okay. So see, now we got our certificate downloaded. So what we can do is we can just, you know, 
uh we can uh, even we can double click and install but uh, i'll show you uh, the exact location so let me get the uh, mmc microsoft management console and in the within the mmc i had go to add remove snappings and here we have certificate section and add and my user account and finish okay uh, let the, uh, i'm assuming that this is saga user saga's account so that's why i'm trying to import saga certificate uh, here we can see personal and we have to import the certificate into the personal section or the personal store import next browse and i'm in the download section but i had to drop down and i had to select uh, at least the uh, biggest cs12 or uh, otherwise all so now i can see the certificate saga certificate i'm selecting that next then i have to enter the password uh, because it is password protected so i entered the password next uh it says wrong i think uh, I should be caps lock enabled because I put the password when the caps lock was enabled. Next, that's right. Okay, next finish. Now we are done with the certificate importing. So let me try to log in. Now I should be able to log into the portal without entering any username or password by using the certificate based authentication. Let me connect. See, I'm connected now. So let me show you that uh, by going to the settings. Here, yeah, see, Saga Tendulka. So that means uh, I have been uh, authenticated using the certificate. So let me showcase or the verify that using the firewall monitor tab. I'm in the system. Here you can see auth success. Certificate validated for users Saga Tendulka. Auth success. So that means actually we got authenticated into the, uh, you know, global protect using a certificate based authentication. So then I'll show you how to log into the global protect portal as well. So let me go here. Let me get a, a private window and let me type uh, gp.firelight.com. This is my global protect portal. See, uh, I'm being prompted with the certificate because since it is installed within the user's uh, certificate store, I'm getting that. So let me select the certificate and let me click OK. And now I should be able to log in without entering any username or the password. Uh, I'll wait, it's, it is somewhat slow. Why? Okay, let me close and let me get the uh, some different browser. I think, you know, I have an issue with the browser. So here I can do that. Uh, gp.fialat.com It says that we need a valid certificate. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, let me get private window. Okay, uh, gp.parlor.com. See, I'm getting the certificate here. Let me select and click OK. See, I'm logged in. So this is using uh, certificate based authentication. So I think uh, let me let me you know revise these steps. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to device tab, and here actually we need to have a CA certificate. We can, I think uh, you can refer to my previous proper protect. Uh, uh you know the overall protect uh, demonstration in that demonstration i'm showcasing how to create a cs certificate within the firewall so after that what we have to do is we have to create the you know user certificate in order to import into the user's account machine so we have to click generate and here certificate name should be uh, some name but common name you must use the user's uh, username i mean the, the whatever the username here and also here you have to select whatever the CA certificate here. Uh, but but actually I miss one thing because uh, actually you have to download this CA certificate and import it into the machine because actually this is already imported. Uh, so so actually I forgot that. So let me showcase. Uh, let me go to MMC again. Okay here I'm in the MMC. So let me go to add remote snappings and let me select the certificates. And here I'm uh, selecting the computer account because actually this is a CS certificate is, uh, you know, a generic certificate for all these accounts. It's not a personal certificate, right? So I'm using the computer account. I'm clicking next and finish. So here, let me click OK and let me go to trusted certificate to uh, root certification authorities and select certificates. Here you can see we have the CS certificate here. So actually you have to install it. Uh, there's, a, no, there's no big thing to install. Let me, I think you can refer to my previous cloud protect. Uh, demonstration in that demonstration i'm ex uh, i'm explaining how to import the cs certificate into the trusted certificate uh, store so then uh, you have these uh, certificates here so then you have to create the certificate profile uh, this is the certificate profile and uh, you can put a name and also you have to select the username fail as a subject 
and because actually subject means uh, because when we create the certificate here so let me showcase it again uh, we put the common name the, we put the user's username into this field so that's what we are referring here in the certificate profile so we are asking use the use that field uh, value as the username field so that means the proper username will be taken from the certificate uh, if you are going to configure it, configure this here. So then we have to select the CS certificate. We have to select it. So that's it. So then we went to network tab and we went to the portals and we select authentication and we select the certificate profile here. And also we did the same thing to the gateways as well. So actually the, that is the whole process in order to enable certificate based authentication for the parallel to global tech or the parallel to remote access VPN. I think you got the idea. Uh, so thank you for your time.